Well, CEU's mission is open society. And what does open society mean? It means free minds, free politics, free institutions. Um, and if you've held fast to that mission for 25 years, there comes a moment when you ought to re-examine it, rethink what it means. Um, let's be clear, open society is under attack in lots of parts of Europe, not just in Hungary where we live, but in other parts of Europe and, and in North America. So why is it under attack? Why are values that we hold dear so frequently criticized? Um, and let's be honest, have we asked tough questions about open society? Um, open society is widely associated with open borders. Um, people say open society is a contradiction in terms. How can a society be open? It must have boundaries and frontiers. So we're asking tough questions of ourselves because that's what a university has to do. It has to question its basic premises. You can't believe something you haven't interrogated, that you haven't uh, put through a stress test. So think of rethinking open society as a stress test for our values in the 21st century. An open society requires first a society that then is as open as it can be within the limits of that society. But what that also means is it needs to impart somehow to the people in the society both the notion of openness and an attachment to the institutions and the customs and mores of the country at the same time. And so the tension uh, is always going to be there. That's the balance we have to find. Um, that is to respect those who say open society never paid enough attention f to the need for national boundaries and national sovereignty and national identity, okay, those are perfectly reasonable yearnings and longings in a political community, but how do we get those frontiers without creating exclusion, rejection, cruelty? creditor-debtor relationship is one that is very, very conducive to populist politics. And this is because it pits states against each others rather than, you know, being a, so um, it's states against or governments against governments rather than uh, conflicts within countries. It uh, also offers a way of uh, saying, ba of, of finding basically the external enemies and also the enemies that are within society which are these enemies of the people, right? So of the, the real people, what the populists call the real people, which of course um, means a very select understanding of who the real people are. One of the things that the notion of open society does not address is fear and displacement. I mean, w w what the psychology is of being out and alone in an open world. I think we're in a historical moment where people generally feel displaced just about everywhere in the world. The nar narration of a um, deep story, so what Arlene Hochschild in her book on strangers in their own land calls a deep story, which is basically a kind of emotional narrative about the type of um, conflicts and, and, uh, and solutions we have and the deep story runs something like um, we are again in a situation where these big states run over us small states and impose their conditions and take our dignity and take our uh, and, and don't respect us and we are just there to fulfill what uh, the big states or the creditors want to do and we show them, we small East European states, show them how to revolt against uh, this. So this deep story also plays an important role. And it allows basically populist leaders to reconfigure the society in a, in a non-open way. Budapest was at the, has been and is at the center of these debates. But secondly, we uh, get students from 120 countries we have faculty from 3040. We're one of the most global and international universities in the world. So these questions are posed everywhere, not just in Eastern Europe, not just in Western Europe, but, but around the world. And so what's exciting about asking these questions in, um, in, at CU is that we can ask them about the whole world. 
and get some new answers. People who believe in open society should always be in dialogue, respectful, tough, smart dialogue with people who hold different positions. And let's be frank, in Hungary there are many people who defend the idea of an illiberal democracy, and CEU needs to be an honest dialogue with them, respectful dialogue, listening to them, not assuming we have all the answers, but arguing back in favor of more openness, more freedom. Uh, more respect for separation of powers than, than is evident in these models. So the contrast that we used to make between open society and closed society no longer works. And so um, we need to understand the relationship between illiberal democracies and authoritarian capitalism and the Western liberal democratic model. These are now in new configurations that we have to understand. So this is, this is what I mean when we talk about rethinking open society. Rethinking Open Society will be big public lectures in which we hope the general community will come. Students, faculty, staff, and people from, from outside. An Open Society project means open the doors to everybody. Um, secondly, um, some more focused, more academic style seminars. Um, there'll be some op-eds. There'll be, I hope, a book that comes out of this. And the other thing that's very important, uh, you know, one of the things that makes CEU unique is we have an ongoing relationship with the Open Society Foundation. Um, we're not their think tank, but we're their kind of brother and sister. And so we want to engage with the Open Society Foundation as it rethinks its mission, as it rethinks its change model. Um, open Society is the biggest funder of human rights and governance uh, assistance, private funder of those things in the world. That gives us an incredibly exciting and privileged relationship to one of the chief change agents in the modern world. Well, can we be helpful to them in, in, in sharpening up their change model, facing up to the difficulties that that change model has encountered, and helping them to go forward to the next phase? That's another very practical public policy orientation to the Rethinking Project, which I hope we'll be able to deliver to Open Society Foundation in the year ahead.